Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an incredible day. Now guys, this is our end of August cacti and succulent and other plants um, backyard update. Sorry, it doesn't sound very nice saying backyard, but it's the only way to describe it. And I've already done a video on our um, cacti and succulent polytunnel collection. So I'm going to be putting all these videos on at the same time and um, show you what's happening here. So this is our yard and um, here i hope the lighting's gonna be okay because it's sunny today we have our bromeliard that was gifted to us by our wonderful friend stephen um here in uh, here in belfast and uh, it is doing very very well so um lovely to see this doing so well here and we have some agaves different types here enjoying the sun and a um, lovely big echinopsis here full of beautiful plant babies as you can see and a mixture of a few outdoor plants we go in mostly sorry for the wind noise if you get any wind noise guys it's a little bit windy but beautiful day today here we have a mixture of um, oaks that we have grown from seed from different parts of the world and uh, here we have some lovely seeds here of different types all outdoor plants and these oak trees are what we grew from oaks from Berlin and they're sort of going a little bit losing their colour now because it's getting getting obviously nearer the, the fall and or the autumn so they're going to be repotted probably into bigger pots too and a mixture of everything sorry for the wind noise guys if it's a bit windy there um, apple tree and I'll try and keep this quick now we have a selection of um, a few different ones in patterns there we have epiphyllum here two selection there of epiphyllums and here we have echeveria all in the, in a basket there all potted up together and they've done very very well outdoors now here is the uh, the best bit i'm going to start over here we have ripsalis um here ripsalis para paradoxa i think it is the um beautifully enjoying that sunshine hanging up there and we've got a little couple of feathers that we've found just put in there <laughs> and uh, that is wonderful loads of new growth on there look at that it's doing very well all these new new little stems coming out which is exciting to see and then mixture of chlorophytum here and um, this chlorophytum here the all green one has been in the most incredible of flower um, as you can see beautiful flowers all over there and I've made a separate video of that all in flower which should be on just before this one actually so do check that out if you haven't seen it and um, here different types of chlorophytum this one is the the white stripe in the middle this one has the white stripes on the outer edges and this one is the all green variety and uh, then we have some ripsalis they're commonly known as the easter cactus in there doing well and i've got the note doesn't look very nice hanging on the washing line but it's a great advantage to use the washing line out here for hanging on the hanging baskets and um, as long as there's room for us to put the washing up and there's only me and hans so we don't have to worry about loads of washing as such and uh, that's doing very well some mixture of epiphyllums and this one here is Clystocactus winterii commonly known as the golden rat's tail and it has been flowering all through the summer and um, beautiful to see lots more flower buds on this beauty here so that's very exciting as I say it's a beautiful cactus in itself lovely long stems um, gorgeous I nicknamed this gold fingers because it always looks like it's pointing with its little fingers coming out beautiful and another one epiphyllum here this is more like a vine type of epiphyllum not quite sure what it is i just call it epiphyllum vine it was gifted to me as a cutting from one of my friends and he didn't know what it was either <laughs> but um apparently it has sort of like whitey big flowers so it's going to be interesting to see and as i say it sort of grows down like that on a vine and comes out but it's, it's gorgeous it's flourishing here on the hanging basket and here another epiphyllum here all different types Look at this guys more flower buds this is a, also a cactus um the one of the white spine was a cactus collodimonasis and um that is commonly known as the monkey's tail because it's lovely white fur a beautiful plant and um the way it hangs like that it's just so gorgeous it's almost like a little a little beautiful furry little tarantula <laughs> and then the lovely buds on it there as well so that's going to be remarkably when that flowers beautiful and i'm growing some of this from seed from this plant that um formed a flower a seed pod last year and I seed sowed it a few months a few weeks ago now and that's doing well and this one here is a poro cacti varieties there's three different types in this hanging basket this one is the more commonly seen a poro cacti a poro cactus flagelliformis and pretty sure that that's a bud it could be another stem but i think it could possibly be a bud but i thought that with that one then it formed into a stem 
not the time of year this normally flowers so I think that's more likely to be a stem but um, it's doing very well look at that this was just a tiny cutting as well and um, this one is a poor cactus um, malisonii so that's that one too and this one is a puro a puro uh, a puro helioserious so although it's a puro cactus it's a helioserious it's a hybrid and this has lovely big pink flowers too so um that's them doing well and then i'm just going to take you over here we have a lot of the stone wall so this is all our outdoor succulents that stay outdoors all through the year i've got them here on the wall and i put a few crystals and rocks around them to support them so they don't blow off and this one needs to repot that's why he's left like that but um, Kalankoe here the sedum is um, coming into flower too which is very exciting here lots of different ones so um, that is the wall on there and that's my hoily nearest I've put that on there because it needs to be repotted as you can see the pot's broken and I'm going to put it into a, another hanging basket I did have it in a hanging basket but I've took it there temporarily so it hangs down and gets plenty of light and uh, repot that then and here we have um, a Ripsalis crispata and that's sending out loads of new growth now this one overwintered last year in the polytunnel but I'm going to be overwintering this one indoors this year because it's scarred badly um, at sort of seven celsius five and seven as you can see that's the result of last year coal damage and um, although it didn't kill the plant thank goodness it just looks unsightly so I'm beyond the safe so I'm going to keep that indoors this year but epiphyllum usually is quite cold tolerant especially at seven celsius no problem as long as it's kept relatively dry um, look at that I mean this is just doing so well lovely big huge leaves loving the sun this big hanging basket here another ripsilis here different varieties in this hanging basket as you can see that's a different variety again more of a clumping type of ripsilis and this one is more of a um, this is I think the ripsilis bacifera um, more of a red coloration and more spaced out and this one is more fattier stems and um, more pencil like so you see the different varieties there all together they seem happy grouped together like that this is another one more of a thinner stemmed variety too so they're doing well another more epiphyllums here all different types and um, this is a hylocereus cactus and this is doing very well as well as so i say the other one is in the polytunnel because it was getting a bit too wet with water so i took it in in there but this one is needs a good good water and it's really doing well since i repotted it too i mean look at that big fleshy this is all new from this year big lovely big fat fleshy stem very good and um this here is um got the red coloration because it's getting getting a bit probably a bit too much sun so i might bring that in also into the polytunnel that is my um orange brazil schlumbergera truncata um orange brazil it's actually a schlumberger tendensa orange brazil but it is a hybrid of the truncata the much much wider wider leaves it's a beauty and here Sch schlumbergera buckley eye cuttings that um, I've got from um, our wonderful friend Shane Walsh so they are doing remarkable in there and I put a couple of my other Schlumberger buckley eye that I had previously all in the same basket I've stuck little labels on so I know which ones are which because some are pink flowering some are red so I know where they've all come from and what types and here this is what my Hylocereus dragon fruit cactus that I grew from seed and um, that's doing very well this year lots of new growth as well and I saved this from dreaded mealybug earlier in the year as well it sort of got an attack of mealybug and um, I managed to save it again by using the isopropyl alcohol I removed it all and been treating it with neem since both um, externally and in the there's a soil drench and there's not a sign of them left now so I'm very pleased with that and the plants look so healthy and here this is um a kalankoe wendy i think it's kalankoe tessa or wendy i'm not quite sure though this is kalankoe tessa and this one is absolutely good it has lovely orange bell like flowers and this was gifted to me as a cutting by my wonderful friend rachel at gardening at Duenza. and it was just a cutting like that i think and look at it now it is just remarkable look at that it's a beautiful hanging basket and um, that is just doing so so well to sing we're trimming it back as well and giving some cuttings away to friends also to trim it down a little bit and that's the yard nearly i've just got to show you the the main part here 
and I mustn't forget that we also have uh, strawberries in there <laughs> now we have the two big euphorbias I have covered these in the polytunnel update but these guard the door outside this is the euphorbia triangularis and it's got loads of new growth so that is doing remarkable on there and that's the euphorbia tiracali commonly known as sticks on fire and that is also looking wonderful that's our water bucket's not very attractive and that's our water barrel at the back but that holds all the rainwater. these are our datoras and they've been flowering away as i see that's more flowers on there coming out and loads of seed pods which is wonderful to see and my carnivorous plants there saracenia nepenthes and a few other ones there and um, also venus fly traps as well these are ones that i grew from seed um, about three years ago now very very slow growing but they're getting there and this one is a butterwort and um, another venus fly trap too and then we have here some pelagoniums and we have a geranium pelagonium here the scented geranium and look at that beautiful flower today guys so really pleased about that it is beautiful so very lovely to see and um, this was also gifted as a cutting from um, the wonderful Olga from Olga's dreamland so very pleased to see it in, in beautiful bud and uh, so beautiful flower I should say gorgeous and here we've got cuttings on the go here and a mixture we have our punches outside these are the larger ones that are enjoying all the fresh air outside there and here we have a mixture of all serious cacti. At the back here we have Brasilia Opuntia, Brasiliensis, a big giant of a man there. And I think uh, we're gonna have to cut that back possibly because it's looking a bit bare in the middle. Treat the top part as a cutting and cut the bottom bit and it's gonna branch out. And it's a shame to cut it, but it is gonna actually help the plant. So that's something that we are gonna be probably doing possibly before the winter time. So stay tuned for a video on that. I'm gonna have to ask uh, Honzi to help me with that because how on earth I'm going to get a cut that in half I really don't know but it's going to benefit the plant so um we, we it's going to be a funny video guys now this is um Hans's gorgeous trichoceras candidans that he grew from seed look at that little little fly on there remarkable really nice and fat stems now with taking up all the rainwater and because the weather's sort of good now again it's been good a new little buds growing on the top of there from the top and a mixture of everything really that's good to see my trichocera scopicola has a lovely big juicy bud on it there and the big um, pacanoi there has been an amazing flower it's the artilantias hanging from the window there that's a big pylocerius um, massive massive big tall tall beauty there and as i say the pylocerius are not cold hardly so they can be overwintered indoors and god knows where we're going to put them all because our house is quite tight for space but there's a way around everything now that's going to be funny when we overwinter them into the plant rooms. Here is a lovely Callum Cohen. It's just absolutely thriving here. They love the fresh air. You can't beat fresh air for cacti. If only we just had better weather. <laughs> uh, wouldn't have to have them all in the polytunnel or the, or the house. Here, different ones. Here, trichoceriuses and um, some euphorbia, pylocerius again different sorry about the wind noise guys trichocerius there all doing well so that's our yard update anyway that's um pretty good and stay tuned then i'm going to do the indoor house plant and cactus and succulent indoor update so thanks so much for watching guys and i want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power as always from the emerald isle and until the next video